G'day, it's Gage here from the Football Friends podcast, coming at you with another video. Uh, today we're going to have a bit of a, a really uh, petty video, I would say. <laughs> um, obviously things are a bit, a bit rough for United at the moment with, uh, it's looking like Ronaldo's highly likely to leave, so I thought I might go ahead and cheer myself up by uh, reading some of the really mean reviews of uh, Paul Pogba, Pogba's documentary. <laughs> <laughs> so if you haven't heard um yeah paul pogba had his documentary come out which is called the pogba theory it just covers his kind of life and footballing career i guess and it has it has been given the lowest imdb rating of all time <laughs> they got a one out of 10 from 13 13 000 user reviews which is shockingly low but as you know, uh, you may have already heard some of the quotes Paul Pogba had said from this, and it, it certainly upset a lot of fans. So I'm very curious to see what uh, some of these user reviews are. Um, <laughs> already off to a good start. I'd give it a zero if I could. <laughs> This guy is one of the biggest self-promoting hacks on the planet. Don't waste your time or the electricity by watching this. I'd rather lick my own armpit. All right, well, that's just a taste of what we're in for here. <laughs> okay. Deluded. Delusions of grandeur and self-important tribe. It's a disgrace to all real footballers who went before him. It's a disgrace to humans that work 9 to 5 for a fraction of what this guy earns in a week. Avoid. Don't feed his overinflated ego. <laughs> These are so mean. <laughs> Worst documentary I've ever watched. Cue the sad music. Play acting in front of the camera, dabbing, and some family sadness. <laughs> but I'll get that recorded instead of privacy. Agent compares himself to Jesus, and we all know what a piece of work he was. Well, that was uh, Mina Raiola, by the way, who, of course, was, yeah, one of the most annoying managers of all time, I would say, would always have the worst deals and ask for insanely large agent fees but unfortunately he has passed away so i don't really want it's a bit mean to be saying negative things but hearing that he referred to himself as jesus does sound about right <laughs> so or paul pogba manchester will always be special to me and then slates the club club and that nothing offer of 300k per week yeah, so that was one of the main reasons why people were upset, is that he was, he he complained about not being offered a contract fast enough or something, but he actually had a offer on the table, which was giving him £300,000 per week, and he said that this offer, he compared that offer to being like nothing, and yeah, that upset a lot of people, because it doesn't really like he, he's playing with his heart, he, he seems to really like this, like the money, you know? So his agent, Christ, milking it even more. What a hard life he, he lives. Thank God for Manchester, the Manchester United drama is over. Juventus have that problem now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's kind of thing. Good riddance is what I say. Um, oh, this one's pretty long. No, I'm not going to read that one. Um, ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> What an awful documentary by a jumped up narcissist. 300, 300,000 is nothing apparently. If this was a comedy, I would have given it a 10. But unfortunately, he genuinely thinks he's world class. The mind boggles. <laughs> okay. Absolute legend. Brilliant. How, just how, do you possibly average a 1 from 10 as of writing 6,000 reviews? Well, it was 13,000 reviews now. <laughs> By being Paul Pogba is the answer to that question. How a human can be so out of touch with his fellow humans is incredible. Madness. He has over 55 million followers. How has he possibly managed to alienate almost literally everyone who watched this mess? 
How has he made something so bad even his millions of followers haven't watched and mustered up even the few not 1.0 reviews to save it from being the worst rated streaming pile of dog turd ever created? I am in awe of this man and this documentary and how bad it is. Oh, oh my god. How can a documentary be this bad? Totally unexpected from a platform like Amazon. Really poorly structured and a total waste of time. Clear avoid for anyone who hasn't watched this. Utter self-serving drivel. An egotistical, self-important crybaby. That would be a much better title for this absolute nonsense. Bogba represents the worst excesses of the modern footballer. All style and no substance. He's the only one who believes his own hype. Give this a miss. <laughs> if I could give a zero rating, I was just... Oh, sh shocking. Turned off after five minutes as he's constantly chatting all about himself. Don't care about anyone else. Me, me, me. Saying how, ahaze, how amazing he thinks he is. Why don't he get real pundits so they can tell the truth about him? Hog on. The virus and leader of Lika of the dressing room finally gone. Digging his own grave with this documentary. You'd love to see it. So, yeah, that was actually a rumor that there is a, a leaker, someone who's been leaking insider information to the press from the Manchester United dressing room, and it was suspected that it was Paul Pogba. But then again, it has been happening recently too around this whole... Ronaldo thing if you haven't seen those it's people saying like oh, most of the squad think they'd be better without Ronaldo according to an insider source so maybe there is someone still there leaking, leaking information but who knows you can say you can see that both Sir Alex Ferguson and Jose Mourinho were right about the player well and actually Ralph Rangnick on that note he Ralph Rangnick I'm pretty sure Ralph Rainick was pretty keen that I uh, said that he needed to go to. So yeah, most of United fans, including myself, has been a supporter of him, even against Mourinho. But thanks to this documentary, we proved wrong. This documentary opened our eyes. Maybe, if not absolutely, after all, the manager is always right about their players. Oh, that was the one we read before. Pog boom to pog shame. He smiles a lot, but he was such a bad vibe for the club. No respect whatsoever for the club. Supporter. Man United paid a lot to get him back, and this is what they've got. Such a shame. Pog boom is such a pog shame. Me, 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 me. What a load of dross. Each episode lasts slightly longer than one of his ridiculous hairstyles. <laughs> One of the worst signings United has ever made. I see his documentary ratings are higher than his playing ones. <laughs> Harsh. <laughs> Horrific to watch. The delusion is strong with this one. I hope, he, I hope he's getting less than 300k a week at Juve. And thank God he didn't accept our stupid offer. Rumour has it he is, he is on about 150k. He actually had to take about a 50% a wage cut after all that. <laughs> Not a professional football player. Selfish and disgusting. How do you have a selfish haircut? <laughs> Need to reevaluate himself. Seeking for glory with an empty mind. Never been a top player. Fake history of a dirty player. <laughs> oh my god. Um, no responsibility taken for any bad results it's everyone else's problem the man is a virus and this documentary sees him full to his own importance 300k is nothing yet he's going to sign for you for half of that let this be the end of him now oh man okay look it, th these just carry on look it, it just it, it, this just there's 13,000 of these. <laughs> well, I don't know how many have comments, but yeah. But, yeah, that was pretty petty of me, but I did hear that they were pretty funny, so <laughs> they did not disappoint. And maybe give it a watch if you're into it, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, that made me feel a little bit better. 
So, but that'll be it for today. Uh, so uh, like and subscribe to the Football Friends podcast and uh, tell your friends and everything like that. And I'll, I'll see you next time. Cheers.